large SWAT initiative in the hinterlands, rural areas, and regions underserved by banks in the country to ensure that the weak and vulnerable ones amongst us can swap or exchange their old notes. D. We deployed all our staff, particularly those of the grades of assistant director, deputy directors, and directors in Abuja, to proceed to all CBM branches nationwide to join the mass mobilization campaign and monitoring program, working with the deposit money banks, agents, and our branch controllers across the 36 states of the Federation. This is meant to ensure compliance with all our guidelines already issued for smooth implementation of the program. Although we have received some reports of breaches by some bank branches, we have agreed with the executive chairman of the EFCC and ICPC to assist us by sending their staff to all CBN and bank branches nationwide to join in monitoring the implementation of these guidelines. The aim is to ensure compliance with the laid down guidelines. E. We are happy that so far, the exercise achieved a success of over 75% of the 2.7 trillion Naira held outside the banking system. Nigerians in the rural areas, our villages, the aged and the vulnerable have had the opportunity to swap their old notes, leveraging the agent Naira swap initiative, as well as the CBN senior staff nationwide sensitization exercise. F, aside from those holding illicit and stolen Naira in their homes, for speculative purpose, we do aim to give all Nigerians that have Naira legitimately earned and trapped the opportunity to deposit their legitimately trapped monies at the CBN for exchange. Based on the foregoing, we have today sought and obtained Mr. President's approval for the following. One, a 10-day extension of the deadline from January 31, 2023, to February 10, 2023, to allow for collection of more old notes legitimately held. Oh, my God.